Do you like pretty flowers? I clash your flowers. Like I clash the man. Thanks to Adam P for sponsoring today's episode of Battle Brothers. It's going to be a good one. If you guys want to sponsor your very own episode, link in the description down below. In any event, off to the show, and thank you very much, Adam P. Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode three of our man-crushing fantasy. We're at level eight, and today we're going to try to get to level ten, of all things. I don't think we'll get to level eleven, but we'll push pretty close. We've already got our uh, training experience ready to go. We've got our students. We're all by our onesies. Our skills are getting high. And we're going to the Southern Lands to do Adam Proud, most hopefully. And get into three relatively easy brigand fights and just crush them. Maybe even four. You know what? Maybe today there won't be so much. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo 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 -hoo. A few raiders. Some poachers. All right. I can't not do this, but I want to do it at dust time, and I want to do it in the swamp. Come on, guys. Get to the night time. Night. Perfect. This is absurd. Twelve enemies. A few raiders, some poachers, some thugs, swamp, night. Let's do it. Okay, we want to move down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, let's move there. Perfect, we'll be surrounded. They got a hooked blade out there. That's some scary, huh? Okay. Just gonna chuck random rocks at us all day long. Don't mind if they do. These arrows, 15, 30, 12, 12. Color me surprise. Wow, he tried to go for the knockback. If that had hit, it would have been insane. However, man, crash! <laughs> Heads are rolling everywhere. Come on, shoot me with your 30% shot. Okay, don't actually do it. <laughs> he couldn't swing the axe because he's moving. This guy's down here. He couldn't do it either. We can hit both those axe men. As long as we don't get pierced, I think we're in business. 12-12. It's time, friends. 95-95-95. Crash! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Are we ever talking? Oh, boy. God, these arrows. It's like, it's insane. Nice, 13% on the hooked blade. I don't care none about no hooked blade. Yeah, you come over here, hop in the swamp. I bet that's gonna work for you. He's trying to knock me into the swamp. Did you guys see that? He's trying to knock me into the swamp. You know what we say to mans who knock other mans in swamps? Not today. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Whew. Having fun. <laughs> he shot his... <laughs> he shot his friend in the head instead of us. And he was so scared he tried to run away. And we chopped his head off. Oh, you don't get more funny times than that. My golly gee willikers, Batman. Uh, this thicket here actually hides anyone from being seen. We're going to jump into it. That way these arrows can stop flinging at us. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. Yeah, walk right... Wow, he walked next to me. Sound like Ken see us. Uh, however, thanks for walking next to me. A 95. Beautiful. <laughs> this is supposed to be a hard game. Five percent? Wow. We, well, we hit him in the head. That's why he didn't die. And another 30 percent. Oh, 
Okay, now, the plan is, there's actually still four archers who have been hitting us a lot. We're gonna hide in this thicket until we're completely, uh, fatigued back. And, wait, how could they see us still? I thought we were hidden in the thicket. Oh, because they saw us at the beginning of the turn, right? So now they can't see us. They won't do anything, we won't do anything, and we're right back to full fatigue. It's gonna be really difficult trying to chase this many archers down. Especially when they won't move after us. So it might actually behoove us to run away, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find a way to take him down. Mmm, and I finally found the tile. Beautiful. Beautiful. And two thousand four hundred and forty six experience. Wow, I didn't even expect that much. We also got half a thing of tools, a leather armor, which is nice for the future. Wow. One battle and ten minutes in. <laughs> the sky's the limit, friends. Max roll the initiative as well. So we're 2,134 experience away from the next level. But that is pretty nice. Because we have 89 fatigue, I'm going to go for Berserk. It only lasts a little bit in the very beginning, but basically we get two round swings off early. Boom, boom. Good to go. I like it. I like it enough, or a lot, rather. Next up, we're going to go most likely for Brawny to really help out with getting that Berserk off. And then on the last level, we'll take Steel Brow. And I haven't decided what I want to do with the last perk yet. Adrenaline's a little bit more useful than it used to be because it's cheaper now at 20. That's still kind of a lot, though, and not necessarily necessary necessarily. Uh, Executioner is pretty good if we have a Javelin reserve team behind us wounding the mans, but again, eh, not sure it's worth it. I don't know. We'll get to that point in the future. For now, how far away are our health? 44, 85? We're looking at 49 hours. Not bad. We were going places. I suppose we just keep going. It is nighttime, so I want to be very careful. You know what? Let's walk away from this just in case there's someone in there. You never know who is camping in the bushes at night. That was a heck of a result, huh? As you walk past the roads, a throng of ragged-looking men speed past you. They clear off the path and jump down into an embankment and hide behind a wall of bushes. With shrubbery still swaying, another group of men soon appears. Before the first man even speaks, you already know what's coming. Apparently the laborers had agreed in union to abandon the project. What's, uh, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to not turn them in. And we get a laborer. Welcome, laborer buddy. Welcome to you, Tabby Bobby. Who are you, I wonder? Ooh, what the freaking? Apparently you're a what? Is this the what? You're a vagabond. A drunken vagabond. With 49 melee skill, with triple skill in melee, 105 fatigue, skill and fatigue, 58 hit points. Is this a joke? And also a survivor. My god, man. 56. He's going to have an 84 aim when he's all said and done. His fatigue will end up being something like 140. Wow. This is, this is, a, this is a man right here. Drunkard as well. Which is fantastic. His resolve's only 31. I guess that's the one drawback to him. But the fact that he's a survivor, we could do so many, so many cool things with him. I'm not even sure what to do, to be honest. That's, that's just, this is, what an episode this is shaping up to be. Ah, but now, now we need to be careful. So sure, I was able to kill those guys before in the swamp at nighttime. 
But four raiders? Uh, before it was a few, now it's some. It's definitely going to be four and four. I don't... Plus, we're a little bit wounded now. This is where we get we get excited and we can potentially lose the game. Let's not let that happen. Back on the road, friends. I mean, it might be possible to take him out, but I really don't want to find out the hard way that I was wrong. Let's go off the beaten path to lose him. Oh, never mind. Go after the trading caravan, maybe? Ah, uh, we fight them with the trading caravan. As long as we get the kills, we'll get the experience. What's our armor at? 56. That's dicey. The trading caravan consists of some hands and a cart. They'll go for the cart, though, like they always do. Oh, they're going to attack the cart. I'll help. No problem. The caravans are getting a wreck, but we have a little man all by our the onesies over here. Thank you, man. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Will this guy get killed instantly? They do have two maces and a flail. That's some scary stuff. If I move over here, there's a chance they'll come back and noggin bonk us, although I want to take that. I want to take it next turn. This guy will almost certainly come over here and try to... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He'll go for it, so we can't take that next turn. However, we do have the frenzy if you want to take the risk. He's also kind of wavering. You know what? Let's take the risk. Another mace, actually. He didn't come over here. Okay. Three friendlies remain, one of which is a caravan cutter. So let's come up here, wait for them. Come surround us, I dare you. Nice. You miss the donkey. You go run after that other man. You try to stun this guy and not kill him. Okay. Whoopsie daisy, wrong bouton. One less man. This guy's gonna get murdered next time, but hey, I'm very happy about having him two, two of them already dead. I got Frenzy. They'll probably kill him and come over here next turn, or they might chase the other guy. It's an interesting conundrum. They will have elevation, but only that one tile. If I come over here next turn with our killing frenzy up, we can probably one-shot him, no problem. Yep, back they come. I'm glad that this guy's going. Nice, you miss. This is really scary. Look at all of their maces. Every one of them missed that guy. I kid you not. 75, 75, 64, 64, 69. Beautiful work, friend. Oh. Meanwhile, I'll just take a casual murder, because that's what I do. Now, I know they're going to kill him next turn. There's still more guys someplace, though. And I am worried about them surrounding us. I'd prefer they came into us after they murdered that guy instantaneously. There he goes. We should have the fatigue next turn for a round swing if they do come over. Ah, beautiful. One at a time. That's how you kill Ford Raiders. Frenzy's up. 95. He's shield walled with a shield. More like dirt walled. Whoo! Right in the head. However, he could still stun us. Thank you, Caravan, for running away. Nope, he's going to go shield wall, swing and a miss. We're just going to casually hit him in the armor this time, unfortunately. What's he going to do this time? Let's take a look. Nothing, because we go before him. 
Now we can just sit here and regenerate. We'll have full fatigue when they come back. That caravan head, you're so thanked. Thank you so much, caravan head. That's exactly what I've always wanted is you. Okay. I could give up the high ground, and they might take the high ground against me. Or I could wait and potentially get Nagan bonked. I'm actually going to back up. Let him come to me. Come on, mans. Bring it. Okay, they can take the high ground there. But if I can kill this guy in one shot, that's unlikely. I can kill this guy maybe in one shot. But he is shield wall and we don't have the elevation this time. Or... We could go back for more high ground fun times. This is where things get interesting. The elevation could be scary. We have 151. We have to choose wisely. Our melee defense is 44 and we're elevated. I don't think they're going to take two attacks. I don't think they're going to be able to hit us. I think that's the smartest thing I can do here. Let's wait and see. They're going to try two stuns. Nope, they're actually going to move in shield wall. Move and knock. Yup, no, they did it. All right, hey friends, 95, 90, sup? That's pretty nice. Mmm, they failed their noggin bunk. If I wait though, they'll get another noggin bunk. So my thinking is let's not wait. There's no sense in striking either one of these. I really want to get a kill here. 95, 95, the maces are more scary. However, I have to hit him in the head, whereas this guy, I could probably just one shot. <coughs> nope, not even close. Okay, little scary. Actually, not at all, because I get to go before them. And don't you know, 95, 95, 92, sup? Mm, did I say sup enough? Whew. Hot damn! 1990 experience. Boy, was that played to perfection. We got a flail out of that. We got a nugget bunker tier two. Full thing of roots and berries for our new posse. Shield. Boy. That was played. That was played well. I mean, I know I'm congratulating myself silently in my room alone at like 9 p.m. on a Friday. But, whew, that was nice. That was really nice. I, I was actually legitimately scared for a lot of that battle. All it would have taken is like one stun at the wrong time. But look at this. We're nary 20 minutes into this episode. I don't know what it's going to edit down to. And we're already inches away from level 10. Wow. We've unfortunately run into a bit of an issue on the road. We have found four more thugs and four more raiders. I'm a little concerned about it, to be entirely honest. We're only at 68 and 99. All it takes is one inopportune stun. And we are so close. I would really feel better with Steel Brow. Brawny would be very helpful. Adrenaline even would be incredible for this sort of circumstance. Although we don't really have the fatigue. We kind of need Brawny to get it first. I'm thinking rather than take the risk and get ourselves wrecked, we run away from these guys down here and across uh, this path to Talbuck. It's going to make it a little bit awkward to get down to Conite's Haven. Alternatively, since we're inches away from level 10, we could bring our mans into battle. This is an option. However, hmm, I really don't like that option very much because they're not going to have any skill. We haven't even named the other one yet. Uh, and I really want to power level ourselves to get all the ex two more two thousand more experience. Fifteen thousand is the next level. If we got two thousand. We'd be at fourteen out of fifteen. That'd be fantastic. This is a little too scary. We, we, luck's been our, on our side so far. Let's not let it go to hell, shall we? You know what? We can do this. If the game will allow us. Not click the wrong way. Very good. They're stuck in the swamps. We should be able now to lose them in the forest. I want to go to the right, because otherwise they're going to have the ability to catch us when we go into town. However, there might be a militia stand over here. Hmm. 
Mm, there we go. Perfect. The first company shows up, and these guys turn tail and run. We're fine and dandy safe. Ooh, we're playing the strategy map even pretty well. Ambush caravans. This is fantastic for our sales, of which we have very many. Cheap tools once we get rid of the ambush caravans. Also, nets. And probably food for days. Sell off most of our low tier stuff. This is probably stuff we could equip on the man. The thing is, they're going to use the repair kit, so I didn't want to equip it just yet. And we're up to 712. They should, because they have uh, ambush trade routes, have an easy quest against brigands. There we go. Brigands killed Otto and his whole family. And now we kill brigands. West of Conanshaven. All right. Just what we're looking for. Right over there. How do we get there? Oh, looks like we actually have to come up and cross. Oh, you can cross over here, apparently. No, never mind. You do have to cross here. We should be repaired in 11 hours. Stay away from the forest, just in case. This is a very cheap one, only 360 gold. There shouldn't be anything here but thugs, is my guess. We got four hours. Let's camp outside. Okay, good to go. We're at 100%, friends. We don't really know what's in here. But we know it's brigands. And we know we're going to slaughter them at nighttime. If there's any poachers, well, they're going to get poached. Only seven of them. It sounds like a chicken out in the background. You guys hear that? All right, nothing really to worry about. They might be able to pierce us, but piercing, worrying is... Oh, there's actually one raider with a flail. All right, I'm not going to worry about it, friends. 95, 95, fun times with murder. Okay, well, we got frenzy. They'll hit us a couple of times. Hit once, move over, hit once. This guy will try to nog and bunk. That might work for him. It might not. We'll see. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, friend. You shouldn't have tried to run away like that. To be honest. Oh, my God, this game. This easy, easy, easy game. I see three mans, knock and bunker priority one, flail. I don't have a shield anyway, so who cares? Crash! Oh. So many heads are flying. Strike! Oh. Hot. <laughs> Vicious. Oh my god. 1579 experience. We got another flail. We got some tools and some drools. We're out of here. Man, those poor man. Those poor mans. I feel bad for him. Here's the, the thing, though. I kind of feel bad for my character, too, because now we don't have uh, a place that we know of anywhere that's going to have a training hall. We could come down to Himmels... Himmelsburg? Himmelsburg over there. So we call it Himmelsdorf, for those of you who've played World of Tanks. You know what I'm talking about. Himmelsburg, apparently. There is our level 10, by the way. We're now up to 97 aim, 38 melee defense, 149 fatigue before our armor. And I'm actually not 100% sure what I'm going to do right here. All right, I figured it out. We're going to go brawny now, because this will help us get off the extra, like, one round swing or strike in the very early game while we're still doing this farming. Uh, and then... Next tier, we're going to go Steel Brow and Recover. I completely forgot about Recover on this spec. So, Brawny it is. This brings us from 94 fatigue to 106. Even wearing 470 armor. That's absurd. We didn't even take... Did we take a single point of damage there? I'm not even sure. Those poor, poor, poor brigands. Uh, what's our experience level? We're at 13... 1,400 out of 15,000. So if we get training, we can, in one level, maybe get up to whatever. However, I don't think it's worth it. I think two more fights to level 11. And now we're going to start looking for... 
Hedge Knights. Mm. Well, this could be a lot of experience. If we take the swamp, actually, this is... You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in the swamp, I hope. Four thugs, four raiders. I didn't quite see. I don't think we're in the swamp, though. Okay. I like that they have the flail guy here. They have eight guys. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing one. I see the three raiders out of four, but not the fourth one. I see the four thugs. There's one more relatively well-armored man someplace. Probably our best bet is not to get hit by that and fall back. Let them come to us next turn. There he is. Hooked blade, man, because otherwise I would have been standing right there and that could have been bad. Still need to use strategy. Okay. Interesting that he went up there instead of down here. He's going to move there and hook blade us next turn. We need to get a kill. And to get a kill, we need to do a strike. A round swing probably won't kill this guy down there. Uh, we can hit this guy and kill the one behind him with the strike. 95, 95. As long as we don't RNG that 95, we're in business. There it is. Now we've got the frenzy. And now I believe I can do a round swing, kill this guy. And maybe with the additional damage, we can kill this noggin bonker down here. He wants to stun us to death. 95, 95. Nope. Get ready. It's going to be maybe bad. We are confident. Hit in the head. Stunned. What was that chance? 30, 21 actually was that chance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, friends. Luckily, we're getting some misses here. Shield wall. Misses, misses, 22, 22, 39, 16, 16, by the seat of your pants, woo! No noggin bunk, please. Oh, thank God, we're in business. <sighs> that was scary. <laughs> I gotta admit, that was really scary. This is actually still really scary. We can kill this one, this one. Uh, we'll probably hit the soft one down there. What's more important, the axe or the boar spear? Probably the axe, because he's one-handed, he'll do more damage. 95, 95, 95. We're confident we need a big break here. Everyone cry! <laughs> <laughs> Heads are rolling. They are rolling. This guy's out of here. We got uh, wavering, wavering. Still have one more attack. Where do I want it? Probably Hammer Man, right? Even with the shield wall. We don't care none about that. Not going to be easy to kill, to be honest, but whatever. There we go. Now he's breaking. Awesome. Bill Hookman misses. This guy misses. Misses. Hammer time. Misses. All right. Hammer time. That's how you hammer time, friends. Oh, sorry, friends. Would have liked to have gotten to know you. I'm lying. <laughs> this guy's trying to run. Smart move. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Shall we agress? We can't. Well, looks like easy game. Just keeps getting easier. Let's go over there so we don't get the low ground. Beautiful. He's trying to hook us into the hole. We're just gonna freaking show him what's in that hole in about three, two, one. Oh! 1628? That's not even with our experience bonus. Woo! We got the hook blade, the boar spear, uh, the flail we can sell, tools. All from a bunch of lazy drools. Well, we haven't even gone to turn in our quest yet. Are we level? I didn't even look. Did we hit the level? <gasps> level 11! I didn't even mean to do it this episode. I bet to do it next episode. You're gonna be kidding me. Oh, boy. All right, we're gonna go for four over... Look at this. Double max rolls. We got four. We got a five. We got a three. I'm not going to take the last four because we've already got 93 on our morale. Look at this man, friends. We are level 15. We're going to grab Recover. We're going to grab Steel Brow for extra protection in the future for those crossbows. That'll just pierce right into our skull at some point. 
We are sitting at 101 aim, 41 melee defense, 5 range defense, 111 fatigue, even after wearing negative 32 and negative 13 armor carrying a negative 10 longsword. We still have 111 fatigue, 68 hit points, and so far we have took part in 11 battles, and we have gotten 79 kills. That is almost 8 kills per battle. Wow. Okay. Well, apparently it's phase 2 already. I honestly thought this would take much longer. Uh, phase 2 is we find a hedge knight and we buy him. I'm not even sure we have the gear. We're going to have to be a little bit smart about this and think about what we're going to do in the future. Probably repair these flails and... Even if we repair them, I don't know. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Like, ridiculously insane. You know what I think I might do for Ragnar, since he's pretty sweet too? Ragnar, the drunken man with 49 melee skill and three... Three skill with 105 with skill and fatigue. This guy's insane. Well, he's not as insane as us, but still... For a frigging Vagabond, this has to be the best one ever rolled of all time. Plus, he's a survivor. Means he very likely won't get wrecked. Even Puriel over here, ready to do some work. I wonder if we... I guess we can just start leveling them, if nothing else. Although, they're likely to die if we start leveling them. It's actually safer to go by ourselves. Anyways, here's what we're going to do. We're going to assign the character names of this YouTube campaign based on the sponsors. And so, whoever has the highest sponsorship total, that will be the first character. And then I'll just take the next one, that'll be the next character, and the next one, that just, we'll just go down the list that way. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, if you sponsor multiple episodes, I'll add them all together, and if you're number one, you get the first guy on the list. Uh, I don't really want to wait for the best guys for, like, the highest sponsors, the reason being that they end up waiting a long time and then nothing happens. Like, we don't find a good guy or the campaign ends, so I think just, like, the best thing I can do as a thank you to all the sponsors that keep this series going is the highest sponsorship gets the first character, next highest gets the next one, etc. So there you go. I think that's the fittest way I can do it. I think we're off to a fan frigging tastic start. Day 16. Day 16! And we're level 11. When I did this on stream, I think it was day 32. We literally cut the time in half. That's absurd. Now we just need to find a hedge knight. Alright, in any event, time for sleep for me. I hope you guys enjoy. When's we returning? Hot day of the crashing of the man's apparently continues until we get knock and bonked and double pierced, double wounded, instant dead in one second. Um, which can happen. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. This easy, easy, easy game. I see three mans, knock and bunk at priority one, flail. I don't have a shield anyway, so who cares? Crash! So many heads are flying. Strike! Woo! Hot. <laughs> Vicious.